Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl I was brought into this world Wrapped up in pearls I love to mingle Though my husband reminds me I'm not single I meet and greet Both the famous and the elite I ride in limousines Drinking the finest champagne Wearing first dazzling diamond jewelry A girl can't complain I live in upscale life Dining in the finest restaurants, eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I enjoy myself, they can't charge me. <laughs> This photographer and I decided to explore the city of Paris. Our first destination was the Paris Cemetery. Situated on the eastern edge of the city, the Cimetière du Père et Lachaise is the most famous cemetery in Paris and perhaps in all of Europe. The cemetery is named after the Jesuit father Lachaise, King Louis XIV's confessor who led the reconstruction of the Jesuit rest house, completed here in 1682. The Père Lachaise land covering more than 109 acres was acquired by the city of Paris in 1804 for use as a cemetery. The rising ground, cobbled avenues, and rows of trees give the place a romantic atmosphere in spite of the more 70,000 19th century funeral monuments that dominate the landscape. Some are ostentatious, some are unsightly and dilapidated, but most are lovely. Monuments also honor Frenchmen who died in the resistance or Nazi concentration camps. In the southeast corner stands the Moor des Veteris, where the last communards were shot in 1871. Many famous people are buried here at the Grand Sadrus in Paris, including Mossad, Chopin, Moliere, Oscar Wilde, Delacroix, Balzac, and more famously, Jim Morrison. Welcome back to Cognac's Corner. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and we are here in front of this fabulous tomb, Harriet Toby. She was an American ballet director, dancer. The French tour director in the cemetery. Introduce yourself to the camera, darling. Euh, ben bonjour, je m'appelle Jackie. Euh, ben je fais un tour avec Cognac euh, du cimetière. Euh, je pense que ça lui a plu et que ben, elle nous enverra des visiteurs pour visiter le cimetière. Étoile danseur, the ballerine, the ballet de Roland Petit, the ballet de Cuevas, du Marquis de Cuevas. Uh, it's a fabulous yeah. cemetery, and as you saw before, we just visited Jim Morrison's grave and Oscar Wilde, and of course, my fabulous composer Chopin. Chopin. He yeah. was amazing. Yeah, but beautiful Chopin. Yeah, so you were a fan of his? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jim all his records. Jim Morrison. Okay. My Chopin, you love. Oh, Chopin. You adore Chopin. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, thank you, Jackie, very much for this little tour of the cemetery here in Paris. Keep watching, darlings. More sights of Paris coming up. Pink champagne kisses. Bonjour. Uh, I, I am in Jackie. Uh, in the cognac. Bonjour, I am Cognac Bolivain, and we are staying at the Napoleon Hotel in Paris, France. As you can see, this is a portrait of Napoleon, and as you well know, that many famous celebrities have stayed at this wonderful, charming boutique hotel, including the great star, jazz star, Elton Gerald. So keep watching, darlings. More Paris sights. Champagne kisses. Au revoir. Oh, oh, oh. I said, Cognac. Oh, oh, oh. I said, Cognac. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a fancy blonde, fancy dress to impress. One of a kind girl. I was brought into this world wrapped up. In. This, this has been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.